Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Carter. Welcome. I'd like to show you uh, how to paint a cherry blossom tree today. Here's one I painted for you to show as a little example. You don't need a lot of paint, just red, white, and black. I'm going to put this here so it doesn't fly off. And uh, a painting surface. Uh, you see I came about mine quite easily. You might use the cereal blocks or just about anything. I really like this brown color on here. It just sets a nice background. You don't have to paint it. It's already got a rich, uh, nice tone to it. So uh, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need red, black, and white. As I said, you're going to need some brushes. I picked up uh, these brushes at HEB. I know that a lot of the stores are closed, the uh, craft stores, are, but uh, you can almost always get things at HEB. They sell groceries. And um, I think these were like a few dollars. I'll have to look it up. You can look it up online and find the price exactly. I also got these paints there. Um, I'm using my own paints, but um, those are perfect for this project. Okay, so um, the cherry blossom tree is very beloved in Japan. In fact, it's a national flower in Japan, and because this is spring, there are uh, cherry blossoms trees uh, everywhere. There's hundreds of varieties in Japan. It's a huge festival, and uh, they often have uh, boat tours, or they always have boat tours, and they have festivals and vendors and um, a lot of festive activities uh, throughout Japan. And it's also a huge tourist attraction in Washington, D.C. So, um, watch the news, you'll probably be seeing uh, cherry blossom related stories on the news. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to, um, I'm going to start by getting our colors ready. We've done that. You're going to choose a border. A border is the same on all four sides. On this one, I used a repetition and pattern to create just, um, I did all my black marks first, and then I did my pink, which is really red and uh, white. Um, when you add white to a color, you, you're making a tint. So I made a tint of uh, red and white to make pink, and then I repeated it around and created that border. You can have any kind of border you want. I think for this one, I'm gonna wet my brush, and I'm gonna make a black border on mine. And my, my border for this one is going to be a wavy line. I'm going to make a wavy line. Notice that I have a lot of water on my brush. I'm going to wet it again because it helps to spread out my paint. It'll be a little too watery. I can always go back over it at the end if I want to. But right now I'm creating a space that I'm going to use for my picture. So everything inside this picture is going to be my painting. I like to go around the corner just there. All right, so as you can see, um, it's rather thin in some areas. Later when it dries, I'll do this, and I'll go back over it, and I'll darken it. But I think I'm going to let that dry first. Um, surfaces are a little bit different. And then for fun, I think I'm going to take some, some pink dots. So I'm going to make my tint right now. I'm going to get some red and some white. Mix it together. Don't mix it too much. I kind of like the... The variation on it. So I'm gonna make dot, 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 dot. I think I'm I blended it too much. I'll put some white in there. Um, dot, dot, dot. See how the, each dot is different? When you don't blend the paint too much, you get unique marks. This is a good time to practice your cherry blossoms too. Notice that if you get your, uh, I'm gonna get some red and some white. When I press it on the paper, it makes a unique design, kind of like a little flower petal. See those pretty? Look at that. Those are pretty. When you have white and then red, you can make those pretty flower things. Now here's the difference. I'm gonna make an ugly one right here just for fun. If I make a pretty make a flower, but I sm I smear it too much, smash it and move it around, then I'll make a pink blob, but it won't really look so much like a petal. Like some of these first ones that I made here, I think I'm gonna turn those into flowers. I just thought of that. That would be so pretty. Have uh, cherry blossom flowers around instead of just dots. So I'm kind of hitting it, and then one time only, right? And then let it go. If you work it too much, you'll end up with blob. So here we go, here we go, dot, dot. White, red. And a few more at the bottom. 
Notice I'm not loading my brush, I'm going to load it now, but I've made quite a few of them without loading the brush. That makes each flower kind of unique, so it's kind of weak there. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm going to wash my brush. Okay, now here's what, what else. We're going to create a sense of space by drawing a line towards the bottom of my I'm going to visually divide my space into thirds. And I'm going to put my foreground line about right here. And I think I kind of want it kind of, kind of wavy. Anyway, maybe it's on a little hill. Alrighty. Then I'm going to make two parallel lines about halfway up. Parallel lines like this. Put them in. I want it to be too thick. I'm not like that's good. Then I'm gonna flare out at the bottom and make a little, a little interesting bottom there. This is the foreground. This is the part of the picture that's the closest to you. It's the opposite of the background. Oh, there's this under that mark. All right, now I'm gonna make a Y. I'm going to try to use the tippy tip of my brush, or if you have a thin brush, that would be better. The tippy tip, I'm going to make like a wavy Y, and I'm going to make some more Ys. Now the, the limbs on the cherry blossom tree are a little bit thinner at the end, and they're, they're more wavy, kind of more angular than the regular trees. So if you let your brush kind of wiggle a little bit, it would be alright to do that. And then we have a little Y right there, another Y. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right, now when we fill in our blossoms in just a minute, we're going to make sure that some of the limbs are showing. We don't want to fill it in all the way. And uh, if you want to let it dry a little bit, you can. I'm not going to let mine dry. I'm going to forge right on. Some of the black will smear a little bit, but it'll actually create shadows. So it's not a problem. I should have a little towel here. And uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to get some white first and then red. Notice I'm not blending them together. And I'm going to start. And dab. Dab, 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 dab. White. Red. I'm going to blend in with that border. That's okay. What if it goes over the border? That's all right. Okay. I'm going to be careful of each mark that I make so that I make pretty blossoms and not just a bunch of blobs. Get your white first and then your red. And here we go. I'm going to do it real fast. Now you can always pause the video. I'm trying to save some time, so I'm going to go fast. Make sure you get plenty of white. Looks like I'm running out of white. I'm going to get just white, because I already have so much white and other colors on my brush. And that way, my tree will look uh, like it has a lot of depth. It's going to have more color. And if some of the black ones in there, it kind of looks cool. It's okay if it does that. Alright, some red. A little bit more white. I'm gonna have to get some more white. Look at those at the end, how red they are. You want them to be different. I might have enough to just finish the tree. I think I will. Let's finish the tree. And then later, when it dries, I might reevaluate. Some of those little blossoms are blending in. That's okay. Can you see how my black branches peeking through? They're not all covered. And how about the ones that fell off the tree and ended up on the foreground? So this can be teeny tiny. Ah, I need more white. White. It's trying to get away without it. And a little, little ones on the ground that just fell. Maybe some in front of the tree too. And if you want to put a bunch, put a bunch. They're on the floor, they're on the ground. And that's it. What do you think? 